could you survive in one of the world's most expensive cities on a budget of just $50 for the day? Today, we're gonna find out. We're starting in Dumbo, Brooklyn, and the first 275 is one of the most scenic and cheap rides you can take on the water in New York City. Thank you. If my life was a movie, this would be the opening scene for sure. Big bad city and we've got like $47 to make it work. Nice to finally meet you. I know, it's so nice <laughs> to meet you. Hi, I'm Ishita guys and I'm super excited to be here with John. I feel like it's, it's a lot like Mumbai. Mumbai is the most expensive city back in India. We are headed to our first stop which is... Leo's Bagels. If there's a line in New York, it's usually for a reason. There's usually a reason for a line like this in New York. Can I do a sesame bagel with scallion cream cheese? Next time, do pick up, you cut the line. Take it to a surprise destination, $7.50 for breakfast. This is my favorite hidden park in all of New York City. You really hyped it up now. Like... It's so hype. I'm not gonna live up to it. <laughs> breakfast with a view. I know, and you totally lived up to the fact that it is a good spot. Surprised that you can actually get a really good view of the Brooklyn Bridge. I love the raisins and the cinnamon yeah. in it. I'm glad I picked this out. I knew this was gonna be good when they didn't ask me if I wanted it toasted. They're that confident that their bagels are fresh and this is good. Definitely come here early in the morning, get my coffee. Yeah. Just chill here. But it lived up to the hype. Yeah, definitely. I did. hyped this up a lot. Definitely did. <laughs> I always love comparing subways around the world. How does New York compare to Mumbai? It was actually not crowded at all, and the one in Mumbai is super crowded. You can't even like move a hand. <laughs> um, so I was I was pretty surprised to see it pretty empty out here. Free is my favorite cost for activities in New York, and Little Island right here opened a year ago. It was absolutely mobbed. You needed a time ticket. What do you think is beyond here? I, mean, I feel like there's just gonna be a lot of trees and a lot of plants, I guess. Okay. You ever watch Alice in Wonderland yes. where, the, where he has the hookah and the, the caterpillar guy smoking? <laughs> ben, you are still a child. I love it. I had to stop. I, was, I started getting dizzy. This park was actually designed by the same architect that made the vessel at Hudson Yard. Tilt, tilt your camera up and yeah. zoom in. And pretend the construction is not there. <laughs> You can get a great shot otherwise. We're gonna pretend that this isn't there. You know, one of the best tricks I have living in New York is knowing when museums have free days and poster house every Friday of the year, no admission. It's one of the coolest museums in all of New York City. I don't think it's enough attention. I love how even the stickers are like little posters. Love that. This is all Soviet cinema from the 1920s. Yeah. I don't recognize any of these people. Great Gatsby style. Oh yeah. <laughs> there are no public payphones left in New York City. You can only find them in museums now. It's a relic from the past. <laughs> Till I broke it. Hold for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. Keep holding. We got it. Oh, here. This is our last subway swipe of the video. We are walking the rest of the way after this. A real amazing deal in New York City is finding lunch specials. And this spot, Easy Paella, has one of the best lunch specials in New York. And they are so close to Times Square. The location's perfect, right here in Hell's Kitchen. So we have a chicken burrito espanol. Muchas gracias. Again, we're at a sit-down restaurant less than a 10 minute walk from Times Square. Even if it was 20 minutes walking, guys, this place is worth it. <laughs> Cheers. Imagine you were walking all day as a tourist and he's wanted a little refreshment, a little uh, adult fun. <laughs> this is better than some of the sangria I've had in Spain. This is fantastic. I've eaten here before. Some of the best Spanish food in New York City. You like my pick? 100%, a 10 on 10. This is the reason I came all the way from Park Square. Just for this. <laughs> <laughs> when Adriana likes her food, she doesn't talk much. She kind of sways left and right. I'm in my happy place right now. 
Now the great thing about sangria is you take your little party to go too if you don't finish it. Just like Vegas. I think it's maybe the largest contingent of hot dog vendors in all of New York City, right in front of Columbus Circle Central Park. I forgot what it was like to dodge tourists. It's been a while. It's been a while. My reflexes are still strong though. New York's picking up. I love it. More horses and people. I didn't know that was possible. We just watch your videos all the time. Oh, you do? Where are you guys from? St. Louis. Oh, awesome. This is our family trip this year. You made so much of it possible. Oh, thank you. Have fun, guys. Thank Take care. You. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. This is like the most famous bridge in Central Park, Gapstow Bridge. Call it the Home Alone Bridge. Home Alone 2, they filmed it right here. Plaza Hotel, straight away, Kevin's base. Always love visiting here. If you just got one spot to visit in Central Park, Gapstow, it's pretty good. We found out what Donald Trump's been up to since he left office, directing traffic on Fifth Ave. We showed you a free museum today. One of the great things about New York is there's a lot of free pop-up art exhibits that are all over. You just have to know where to look. This is called Massa Galleria. It's actually 700 pieces of clothing donated from Mexico City, hung around the ice skating rink at Rockefeller Center as art. I mean, this totally brings me back to Latin America. Next guest we're bringing in is one of my longtime subscribers, Michael, visiting us from Germany and flew all this way for Adele's Halal, huh? Dude, it was like 7,000 miles just to try this. I'm very curious what it's gonna taste, so let's see. <laughs> this is our dinner. This is gonna be our cheap street food, but amazing dinner. We do a combo over spicy rice. The swan? Swan, yeah. Eight bucks. Eight bucks. As far as I'm concerned, sitting here, standing at Radio City Music Hall, is the perfect thing for a tourist or a local. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter who you are. I mean, as a tourist, you know, it's a unique experience you have here. You know, some of the best halal food in New York at a Radio City Hall, I mean, it can get better than this. Do they have street food like this in Germany? Um, not that much. It's not, not that well known for, so I'm very curious to look how it's gonna taste. Ready? All right. One, two, three. Cheers. Cheers. Just right, just right for me. I got the hot sauce too, Ooh, that's kicking in. It is, actually it is kicking a little bit more <laughs> than I thought it would be. I mean, the combo is just, just phenomenal. So, so is the, you think this is some of the best street food you ever had in your life? Definitely. I really appreciate what tourists have to deal with in New York. I've been walking around all day. I'm absolutely exhausted and this is just like day in the life for a tourist. Got a little bit over six dollars left. It only means one thing. We're going to a bar. This is the ultimate New York City dive bar, Rudy's. I don't want to do the shot and a beer for five bucks. Beer and shot with a hot dog for five dollars. One dollar tip. To New York. Cheers. Cheers. They're not, not the best hot dogs on earth, but... Beer, a hot dog, and a shot. Can't get better than this. Guys, is that the coolest New York City tattoo ever? If you enjoy living cheap, check out our $2 Chinatown guide right here. Your mouth is gonna water, I promise. Amazing Cheap Eats Adventure.